Good morning and welcome to Kannapolis Church of God. It is so wonderful to be able to come together in freedom. What a great nation we have where we can worship God anytime we want to. If you voted in the election Tuesday, thank you for doing your civic duty. If you didn't, please prayerfully consider voting in the next election. Your voice matters, whether it's one or two or 20,000 voices, they all matter. So let's be sure and be civic minded and do our duty and vote our conscience and our convictions. If this is your first time at the Kannapolis Church of God, we're so excited that you're here. You honor us by being among us today. We hope that you'll be blessed by everything that you see and hear. And if we can help you in any way while you're here, please contact one of our ushers or our hospitality staff, and they'll be happy to take care of you while you're here. We ask you one simple favor. There is a welcome center out the double doors behind you in the foyer. If you'll go by and say hello to our staff there and give them a little bit of information, they're going to give you a free gift for being here. They're also going to set you up for a mailing later in the week where you can learn a little bit more about the Kannapolis Church of God. Thanks again for being here. It is an honor to have Jessica Hansen with us today. She and her husband lead the Casa Shalom Orphanage Ministry in Guatemala. And she is here today to give us a brief report. So please give her your attention. Thank you, Jessica, for being here. We welcome you to the Kannapolis Church of God. There are a couple of important thank you notes in the bulletin this week for Harvest Bazaar and for Sweet Street. Please read those. And from my heart and from our staff's heart, thank you for being a part of those two big events that help us reach out to the community. Young at Heart will be meeting for the final time this year on Tuesday, November 27th at 5.30 p.m. in the Harvest House. Please see your bulletin for more information and stop by the Welcome Center to sign up for that event. December is just around the corner. I know everybody loves Christmas and you love the things that go on with Christmas. Let me tell you about a couple of things happening in the month of December that I believe are exciting and will help us uh, know how to plan a little better for the December activities. Our choir program will be December 1st and 2nd this year, Saturday night and Sunday night. It's always a great occasion for us to worship together and to be blessed by the ministry of our great music team. So please plan to be involved December 1st and 2nd for our choir program. Then the very next week, December 9th, is our children's program. Pastor Rhonda and all the children are working really hard to get ready for that. I know it's going to bless your heart Sunday morning, December 9th. Also on that Sunday morning, we're going to be doing baby dedication. So if you've had a child recently, we would love to dedicate your child on December 9th, Kids Day at Kannapolis Church of God. And then right after service that day, we hope you'll plan to stick around and come down to Harvest House for lunch because the youth are going to be doing their spaghetti sale and their dessert auction on that same Sunday. December 9th is going to be a busy Sunday morning, but I believe it's going to be a great one. Well, finally, I want to say a big thank you to all of our veterans. We're going to be giving you a recognition a little bit later in the service, but please know that we thank you for your service and we praise God that we have a country that is free because of the things that our veterans have done to keep us free. Thank you and happy Veterans Day. Well, again, thanks all of you for being here in the house of God. It is going to be a great day and I believe we're going to be blessed by the music we're about to hear from our choir. Open your hearts and minds, lift up your voices, lift up your hands and praise the Lord today because it matters in 2018. 